Hey folks, Chuck here with Amerisun PowerSmart. I want to spend a little time with you talking about fuel-related issues so we can make sure that we minimize some of the issues that we find as far as gas engines. So, for a couple things. First of all, fuel, as many of you may not know, will go bad in about 30 to 60 days, especially if it's left untreated. So, number one thing with fuel is we want to buy it from a popular gas station, because even in the tanks it can go bad. So fresh fuel, we want to buy it from a popular gas station, so we're buying fresh gas. The other thing we want to do is we want to treat it with stable or another brand of fuel stabilizer. What it does is it prevents the fuel from breaking down. What happens when fuel breaks down? It breaks down into components like varnish and gum and other things that really don't do well in the little jets of a carburetor. And this can happen pretty quickly. So again, we want to treat the fuel with stabilizer. It's very important to do that. The other thing is the container we use is also important. A lot of people have been using the same gas container for a lot of years. And we want to make sure that we're using a brand relatively new one. So something in the last few years, something that hasn't had a lot of gas that's gone bad in it, so that we can make sure that we have fresh fuel that's clean we put in the tank. So a couple things. The other issue I want to spend a few minutes on is that of ethanol. Ethanol is another challenge we have that creates moisture issues. So in other words, ethanol actually attracts moisture. So if you can imagine the vapor in your tank, if I have a tank with vapor in it, it condenses on the side, whether it's my gas can or the actual tank in my snow thrower, and that water sinks to the bottom and then get drawn in through the carburetor. So it's really, really important that we use stabilizer to minimize that. The other way to minimize water is to keep the tank full. The less vapor we have in there, the less chance of moisture accumulating. So it's really important that we do that. So that's a couple things we got to do. The other thing I want to encourage you to do is read the owner's manual. All this information is in there and it's really, really important that you do that. The other thing and the last thing I want to talk about is storage. At the end of the season, it's very, very important that you drain the tanks. During the season, keep them full. At the end of the season, you want to make sure that you drain the tanks so that none of this gum and varnish build up. Stabilizer is good, but it's only going to hold for about 6 to 12 months. Those are some tips that should help you out and keep your snow thrower running well. Thanks so much. We'll catch you next time.